we'll discuss Raheem Sterling at Chelsea as well after Jay Bothroyd said a few moments ago he wouldn't start him for England. Is that correct? Yeah, 100%. Darren Lewis, your response? Based upon the form he's on now, if he goes and has a few good games before the, the World Cup starts, then I might be inclined to change my mind. But based upon right now, I would say he's not starting. He scored last night. Yeah, he's not starting. So even though he scores, he's not starting? Yeah. You, you, I, we always have this conversation. It's not just about goals. Your overall performance has to be on point, especially at that level. I was there last night. He played very well. Would you start him then, Darren? Absolutely, I'd start him. He Where? was the best player at, at, at the Euros in uh, the England team. He was inspirational. He scored goals, made goals. I think absolutely I would play him. Darren, Darren, Darren. In football, you always have to update your resume. You cannot play games based upon your past. If that was the case, Maguire will be starting in the World Cup. He probably, Is he starting he, for you? He probably will. Then. Is Maguire starting for you? Maguire, no, because there, why? But, but there are specific reasons why he wouldn't start. But he's not form. No, but but I'll tell you. Okay. Maguire isn't fast enough. He doesn't spell danger enough. He isn't even a starter in his club side. He's, Sterling he, he, is. He's one, Sterling he was in the team of the year. He was in the team I'm of the tournament. Tell you. you ask me, I'm going to tell you. He's in the team of the tournament. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Sterling has scored double figures for his club for the last five years, whether at that at, at Manchester City. And this year he's got three goals and one assist. What? And how many months are we into this season? He's, he's played, he's, he's had 11 starts, he's been subbed off six times. Right. Well, he ain't playing well for his club then, is he? He's, he's 11 games into his new and career he's been at off. a new club. This is a top player we're talking about. Absolutely we're not talking about someone that's, you know, we're not talking about 18 year old that's just starting his career. We're talking about one of the best wingers the country has ever produced. And I'm just saying, I love Sterling as a player, but right now, based upon his form, he can't be starting for I'm England at the World Cup. So. I am amazed you think that. I, honestly, I really am. Because I think as far as he's concerned, he, he is a winner, first of all. He brings experience to the team. He brings know-how. He brings an ability to get in behind. He brings assists. He brings goals. I, I cannot have he an hasn't. argument that he is But he not. hasn't. Three goals and one assist. He's playing at Chelsea as well, you know. Wait, hang on a minute. At Chelsea, what Potter is trying to do is move from playing a, a, a five at the back, or three if you like, three centre-offs, to a four. And so far, Sterling has been used in different positions. Potter was saying last night that he doesn't agree that he was using a wing-back position, and he would dispute that. But the fact is that he's been played in a way that hasn't really brought the best out of him. In the same way that before the Euros, Sterling was... he, he had His game time was in and out. And then when he played, he didn't have that rhythm and lots of people judged him negatively. Hugh and I had an argument in here about whether he should start or not. Mm. And he ended up going to the Euro, being at the Euros, obviously it was here in England, and he played superbly well. Stop judging him on a manager who is finding his feet at a new club and him finding his feet at a new club and judge him on what you know him to be able to produce. No, I, I, I don't agree with that. I, I look at football and I say to myself, you always have to update your resume. You should never be chosen based upon your past performances. I, I agree with that. But he is, Sterling is Chelsea's top and, and, scorer and so to far honest, this be, season in honest, all competitions. If, if in, do you know what I think as well? I, I, don't, I think Harry Kane suffers because of people like Sterling. And other and other wingers, honestly, I do because they cut inside. People are not getting balls in the box. Harry Kane ends up coming deep. Mm. Do you know? I I, 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 I just I, don't. I, Harry I, Kane I don't does like, that. I don't like Harry Kane. Kane does that. Cut, at Spurs. Cut, cuts in at Spurs on his left his right. foot. Son cuts in on his but right he uses, foot. But he there. uses his right foot. Kulusevski gets to Let the me line. Tell you, one very of the things very that a lot of Spurs fans would love Sterling to see gets is to the Kane line and in things. the box far more often. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. When Kulusevski was playing before his injury, he was getting assists. Kane was getting in the box and scoring goals. Don't get me wrong. He still scored goals this year. But when you see Kulusevski play with him, he's always in there. He's always in there. 